Thanks very much for having me. This is literally the time of my life, and this is my family, and I'll be back next year. Hank Ballard came through Tampa on a Chitlin Circuit show. Pushed his way up through the crowd to the very first row. Little girl in a red dress recognized the vocalist. He asked her, what's that they're doing? She said, that's a twist. And he shook his head, he rolled his eyes, and he made a mental note. He went back to the dressing room, and he sat down, and he wrote a dirty song for the Midnighters to add to the show. Made up a dance for the guys for when they got back to the Apollo. We're back in New York on a bill with Little Willie John, Big Mama Thornton, Bo Diddley, and Dinah Washington. Hank signaled the Midnighters with a flick of his wrist. And they drove the crowd crazy when they started doing the twist. Yeah, Teardrops on My Letter was the name of the song. B side was a twist, and it didn't take very long for the rhythm and blues disc jockeys of the day to figure out which side of the record to play. Midnighters got a lot of miles out of the song and the dance, but a young Dick Clark wasn't about to take a chance. Found him a hack, named him Chubby Checker, pulled his finger out of the pie with a number one hit record. Social phenomena, a piece of crap. Now this was not the beginning of Paola, but it helped give it a kickstart, if you know what I mean. Alan Free was already ready to go to prison, where he belonged. You need to understand that by the time Chubby Checker's record came out, Dick Clark owned half the publishing of the song, and he owned half of the record label, Cameo Parkway. The other half was owned by the Mafia. Up to this time, we'd had Elvis Presley and Chuck Berry and Bo Diddley. Suddenly, we had Frankie Avalon, Fabian. I'm telling you that this was the beginning of where Clear Channel came from and bad music. We almost lost rock and roll. If it hadn't been for the Beatles coming along, it would have been gone forever. That dumb bastard Dick Clark had to pretend that he liked the Beatles. He didn't have any choice. We got it back for a while. And when we decide to get a new government come November, I'm thinking we ought to get our airwaves back, too. I'm thinking we march down to Texas and pull their goddamn radio towers down. I'm suggesting we put the Burn Sisters on the radio and make it the number one record in the world. I hate Dick Clark. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist Come on, baby Let's do the twist Pick me by the little hand It goes like this Come on and twist Yeah, baby Twist B 
very, very much. Don't forget to vote. Give us peace on earth and then this dreadful, dreadful war. The Woody Guthrie Folk Festival Band consists of on lead guitar, Terry Buffalo Ware. On bass, Don Morris. On drums, Ray Van Hooser. On fiddle, Randy Crouch. Keyboards and accordion, T.Z. Wright. And pedal steel, Scott Martin. And Marie Burns just told me a while ago that the first song she ever recorded was written by Ronnie Elliott. Once again.